The message of one young woman has been heard by millions, even though she tragically lost her life over a decade ago. Her challenge to everyone, show compassion. It was heard loud and clear today by students at Nicolay High School. Our Laura Langewell brings us the story of Rachel's challenge. On April 20th, 1999, Columbine High School became the scene of one of America's worst school shootings. One teacher and 12 students were killed. Among them was 17-year-old Rachel Scott. They took my sister, who had a lot of potential. She had a lot of dreams and a lot of passion. That passion was expressed through not only Rachel's behavior, but also in her collection of diaries and essays. This inspired Rachel's parents to begin an anti-bullying campaign called Rachel's Challenge in their daughter's honor. She truly had a passion for kindness and compassion, and they wanted to keep that going far after she died. Presenters with Rachel's Challenge travel across the world to share Rachel's story and challenge people to start a chain reaction of compassion. After watching this, you realize that really you could not be here tomorrow or they could not be here tomorrow, and this is all reality. And to start making a difference. As soon as the presentation was done, everyone had a look on their face as if they've just been shocked, as if they, they just saw something that changed their lives completely. More than 15 million people have heard Rachel's story, and many students have written the Scott family, sharing the impact that Rachel's message had on their life. There's about 150 just last year that wrote in and said, I had plans to end my own life, and Rachel's challenge has showed me that I can make a difference, that I can be a positive difference in someone's life, and, and then I'm worth something. That difference made in countless lives lives on through Rachel's legacy, proving even the smallest acts of kindness make a big difference. In Glendale, Laura Langamo, Fox 6 News. Now, if you, after seeing that story, are interested in learning more about Rachel's challenge, there will be another presentation that's open to the public. It starts at 7 o'clock tonight at the Nicolay High School.